Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I review different action figures. Today I'll be reviewing McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse The Grim Knight. So let's get straight into the video. Okay, so we'll take a look at the box. And so on the front, you've got the window, you got DC Multiverse and The Grim Knight. On the side, you've got his name again. On the back, you've got a cool picture. It's the same picture that's on the trading card. And on the bottom, you've got other figures that you can get from this line. On the other side, you've got the Grim Knight and a small window. On the top, you've got window here and then the peg holder. And then on the bottom, you've got a barcode and just some other different word stuff. So there's the box. All right, so now we'll take a look at the accessories. And so first he has the DC Multiverse stand that comes with every figure. It's in a plain black paint. It's got a peg to help the figure stand up and then a small DC logo. So it's just pretty plain. And then you have the trading card, which has that same cool artwork on there and his name. And if you notice, he already has different colors on there than this one, not as much paint, which I'll talk about later in the video. And then he's got the source, real name, height, weight, and then a small bio that if you'd like to read, you can pause the video now. And then onto his main accessories, he has a grenade launcher, which is really cool. Um, it's got some details on the grips here. You can see the different slots for the grenades. So it looks really cool. It would have been nice if it would have had more of a gunmetal wash on it to make it look a little more realistic. It's just kind of in a black, plain paint, which is all right, but could have been better. Still like him though. And then, he also comes with a SMG submachine gun sort of thing. It's just kind of a small one. Um, same thing with the other one. It could have used a gunmetal wash or something over it, but still looks really cool overall. It's got some nice details. Um, and then for his backpack of guns, he has a ton of ARs on here. You can see all the different ones, really detailed. Just not too detailed in the paint at all, but it still looks really cool. And it's got the peg right here that if you just plug it in the back of the hole right there, fits in nicely, looks really cool, really like that. Um, you have his grenade launcher, which I like to put this in this hand because it's kind of bent that way. You just kind of put it to the side there. There we go. And you can get in the trigger. So that looks pretty cool. And then for the submachine gun, same thing, whoops, let's see, same thing right there. So those are pretty cool accessories overall. I really like them. And then I'll take a closer look at this figure. And so this has a great head sculpt on this figure. He's got nice skin tone and nice white eyes. Um, he's got the curved in ears instead of the straight up and down ones. Looks really nice. He's got his scarf, which has some nice texture on there all around. I really like it. Um, he also has texture on just kind of like the shirt parts, undershirt part of here, even on the arms and stuff. You can see it on the abs right there. And then you've got the bat signal, which is sculpted in. It's got kind of a white kind of gray paint onto it. I really like that. He has his straps, which are front and back, go all the way around. Has a ton of his patch, not patches, pouches and ammo sort of stuff on there. And then what I find really disappointing is he has guns that are sculpted in here. You cannot take those out. Really disappointing. He even has two on his uh, belt right here. I do not like that. I hope they do not do that again because it's just terrible. They could have at least done two, which are just on the belt right there would have been nice I'd have been fine if they had those ones sculpted in um so that's one of the main downsides and then on the belt just got the uh pouches again so that's nice and then you have more pouches on the leg and a knife which could be removable don't really care too much for the knife but it was still really cool have the knee pads which looks really nice I like that it has the bat logo on there and it's in kind of a gun metal paint in there and same for these gauntlets up here I forgot to mention those look nice too would have been nice if the guns had that same kind of paint on there or wash on there and then 
It's got nice detail here on the wrinkles and stuff, texture. Then you've got the boots, which actually have like the same little, uh, I don't know what you call them. Same things on there. And then the boots just have the laces, looks really nice. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is that this figure is not totally accurate with the paint. Um, the picture on here, it shows that he has a shoulder pad right there. He does not. Um, and if it was there, it would have been silver. His middle part of the chest right here, all the straps, should have been like leathery looking with brown and silver parts. And he should have just been more silver and had more brown on him. So it would have been nice, but I still do really like this. He looks cool. He's got tactical feeling to him. And I think even though it's not fully paint accurate, it makes him look kind of like he'd blend in more in the night. So he just looks really cool overall and I'm pretty happy with him. And now articulation time. So we have the head articulation, which he does not go up very much at all. Goes down pretty good. He's got side to side movement. He's got tilt, pretty good. He's got the butterfly joint, which goes up and down slightly, not too much on this figure. Then back and forth slightly, goes up that much. Uh, yeah, that much. And then you can twist it all the way around. You've got the bicep sole right there, double jointed elbow. Got the wrist that twists all the way around, goes up and down. For the ab crunch, he goes forward. Eh, all right for these McFarland figures, but it does get hindered by this um, straps right here too. Goes back really far. It's got just a pretty decent amount of range on there. And then for the legs, I do not know if this broke or not. Uh. Hmm. Well, okay, so I guess this did break. It didn't actually break in there, but it did break. It did, let's see if I can focus. There, it cracked these things right here. So I can get it in again. Let's see. There we go. I just, I guess I just have to be more careful with him on this leg. It does come out. Um, I guess I can do it more in depth right here. This knee goes with the double joint right there. Uh, let's see. He has a little bit of thigh swivel right there. And then he has up, back for the foot, and then toe articulation. So that's a disappointment. I guess I'm just having bad luck with these McFarland DC Multiverse figures. But I don't know. I guess it's not as bad as the other murder machine maybe i can fix it but yeah it's got pretty decent articulation other than it just broke right there so if you have this figure just make sure to be careful with how far you stick that out so yeah all right so i'll do a comparison and so on the left we have the murder machine and on the right we have the dawn breaker and so these guys scale pretty well they should all be the same height it looks like yeah, they look about the same height. I don't know. His ears are a little longer, and he looks just slightly taller, but it's still pretty good. And if you want to check out them, they're about the same height. So that's pretty good overall, and they seem to fit, or he seems to fit in this line pretty well because he's the same line, so that's good. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so overall, this is a really awesome figure, and he's got nice paint even though... He's mainly just black, and his paint could have been more accurate, but he does have nice details, too, and good accessories. I wish he would have come with more, maybe a assault rifle or something instead of the grenade launcher or sniper. Or maybe even some of those pistols that are in the holsters that are just sculpted in. Really don't like that. Hope they don't do it. And then, also, I guess... The lesson of today is be careful with your action figures and cherish them. Don't be too rough because it might happen to you. I mean, it still stays in pretty good and I can still use it as long as I'm careful. So I guess still good. 
Um, and overall, I just really like this figure, so I think he's one of my favorites out of this DC Multiverse line. And, oh yeah, I need to do the little trading card sneak peek, so are you ready? Let's see, I gotta find the cards. There we go. Let's see. All right, I got them. Now, I know some people have been asking for these figures for a while, so whoosh, comment down below what the next review will be. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video.